What is up, Rap Potential YouTube, and welcome to today's video. We are gonna do something pretty cool, and something that doesn't really happen too much around here. So, Will's coming out today. He's going to, uh, basically, the goal is we're gonna clean up his car. Or at least he's gonna work on it. I'm just gonna kind of do some other things around here. But we need to get the interior cleaned out, as you can see. It's got a bunch of just engine parts in it. Um, same stuff in the back. Also, the mirror, mega rattly. First gen mirrors, the early ones, and the non-power mirrors tend to rattle real bad like that. GSLSE mirrors, like your power mirrors and your, that are on an FB, so um, for example, like this mirror. Well, that one's just not tight. Move to the next car. Like this mirror, they generally move, but the glass doesn't rattle. In these early non-power mirrors, the glass is fixed to the like the housing, and then you adjust the housing itself versus adjusting the glass within it. So they get really rattly. Anyways, so what we're gonna do, he's gonna come out and fix this, but we are, or I am, I'm gonna mount this wing on this car. So this is a one-piece fiberglass wing here. And this is nothing at all super fancy. This is literally about kind of the cheesiest little fiberglass unit you can buy. And it was mounted to this car at one time. So you can see there's a hole there, there's a hole there, you know, another one there, there, that one that didn't go into anything actually in the, in the wing itself, and then this one here. And on the bottom of the wing, Oh, there's a little hole there. Just these fiberglass pads to like screw it into. So, because I don't trust self-tapping screws coming up from the bottom into fiberglass, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some nuts and bolts and I'm gonna bolt, um, let me just get this inside and I'll show you. Okay, we're inside the shop. So, these little fiberglass pads are pretty thick and they're pretty sturdy, but just putting a self-tapping screw into fiberglass doesn't really help hold it on. Normally you want your self-tapping screw to the flange of it to be on the fiberglass and the threads to be in metal. So I don't want to do that. But what we're going to do, we're going to take a simple little like, I'll just um, illustrate it with this. Actually this one works. So I'm going to take a bolt like this and I'm going to stick that through the fiberglass. From the, from the top, so from the wing side down, i.e. almost bolting it into the car. Then we're going to take a nut, and I don't know that I have one right here that just fits that size, yes I do. So we're going to take a nut, and I'm going to run a nut on there all the way. So then this piece here will be bolted to the wing, so the wing is in between this washer and that nut. Then I'm going to drill a hole in the body, and this stud now will stick through the body. And then I'll put another nut on it, you know, from the inside of the car. And then this whole apparatus will hold that down. So you'll see it'll be bolt, fiberglass wing, nut to hold the bolt in, and then this nut goes inside the car to hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. The key thing that I want to make sure I do is I'm going to reuse a lot of the existing holes. So the wing already has some notches and holes and stuff drilled in it. The car already has holes drilled in it. One thing that uh, this is the decision you get to make when you decide to put a wing on your car is um, you gotta drill the car. You gotta put holes in your car and putting holes in the body isn't too fun. And when you have holes in your body and you wanna fix them after the fact, it looks like this. You gotta weld them shut, grind them smooth, putty it up. It's kind of a pain. You know, some people just fill it in with putty, but here's a prime example of just a mess of what wing holes get done when you have wings on your car all the time so hole there 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 rustiness there 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 <coughs> excuse me so and like for example here and here's a rivet that didn't come off you know so you got to make a decision do you want to cut your car up but since this one's already got holes in it I'm just gonna make them bigger and use the same holes. They're not entirely the best place, but they're already there, so we're gonna use them. So I guess let's get to it. All right, guys, so 
I got the studs on the wing. I had to move the car up here because it's raining. And uh, at the Rad Ranch, when you have to move a car somewhere, generally you have to move like six cars. So we moved the silver car, the race car, death trap, and my pickup to get this up here. So here's what I got basically. This is like a whole new setting for y'all up here by the house. So basically this is bolted through the fiberglass, nice and solid, big flat washers, and then flare nuts um, there and there. So on the car, there's all these existing holes. And then I put those through the holes. I drilled the holes bigger in the wings so I could put them in. So what I'm going to do now is I know that these two holes here line up pretty well. So I'm going to drill these holes in the body bigger take the end studs out and put the wing on and then see where it fits. I want to just kind of see how we're, we're sitting here. Because if it's going to be crooked, I want to put it on straight. So if I got to re-drill and move stuff, then we will. But it's looking like I'm going to get wet. I'm not into this. So that's where I'm at now. Let's do it. Alright guys, so it's raining, center bolts fit as you just saw, with uh, just those two bolts in there, that wing is really sturdy on there, so what I may do, I'm going to go ahead and get some screws, just some longer screws because you can't get a nut and a bolt and a stud in this, this will get pushed back down like that, and then I'll uh, put the screws in there and we'll see how strong it is then, if it's still good, then then we'll just leave it and it won't need all four bolts um, along the back. I mean, you know, these cars aren't seeing 200 mile an hour, so as long as somebody isn't dumb and tries to like push the car off the wing, it's not gonna fly off. Same thing with Death Trap's got a wing on it, which is a three-piece wing, but it only has a bolt in the front and then one kind of where that crease is. And then my rally car, the rally car is a whole nother excuse because, um, well, because the rally car is a race car, so it is literally held on by zip screws in every facet. But Death Trap has this same wing, the three piece one, so it's split right here. Center piece, you put the two outer wings on first, and then you bolt mount the center piece down, and it covers up the mounting holes for these. But the wing on Will's car is not the same. So I'll get some screws when it slows down. Will should be here soon. We can get the interior of this thing cleaned up. For some reason, when I started it, as I got up the hill, it started only running on like one rotor. It was missing and stuff. So I'm wondering if I got a coil wire or I got something messed up in, up here in the front that I need to look at. So we're gonna investigate into that. But for now, it's raining and it's raining good. And I think if today the biggest thing we can get done is get this car cleaned and everything ready, and I can start messing with the exhaust. Um, even while it's up here, I got some blankets I can throw down, then uh, we'll be able to get this thing good. Ultimate question. This black car is not that rusty. My silver car is pretty rusty. Nah, I don't need another R7. Alright, somebody buy my yellow car. I'll post it in a couple weeks. And this black car is going to be for sale in a couple weeks too, probably, once it's all clean. That'll be two more gone. And then that white race car right there will get finished and sold here shortly. And then the white car in the garage will be done in a couple weeks as well. So, and Adler's white car. We got kind of ish started yesterday. Alright guys, so Will left. We got the car cleaned up. Pretty pumped with how the wing install came out. So, basically... We're going to paint that screw black, but screw through there. I got just the screw here and here in, and it's really not going anywhere. So we figured, um, or at least my thoughts and, and Will agreed too, not having the corners bolted down is going to allow water that gets underneath it to come out. So by that meaning like having a small gap around the bottom it is nice because it keeps the water out of there. Also... <coughs> Where there's water, there's rust. So keep that in mind when you're putting these on. Did, however, still need to put some spray can or something on the screw holes where I drilled them fresh so they don't rust out. But basically, 
we got Will's car going here. So I'm working on the exhaust right now, which you'll see um, a more in-depth one um, in a different video of like everything that needs to go onto that. But basically, we're putting a paste setter header on. Pretty easy. Um, nothing quite too wild going on with that. But anyways. I think that's going to be the end of today's video. So it's kind of like the weekend and what we did. So um, basically worked on Will's car. We got that ignition stuff figured out. We got this thing cleaned up. We got the wing installed. And then, yeah, cars moved around. So pretty pumped. But uh, this thing looks pretty good. So um, interior cleaned up real nice. Door chime still works, as you can hear. Door cards are a little, a little, you know, produced in 1979. The mirrors rattle a little bit, as y'all saw just a little bit ago, but uh, everything's pretty good. Um, it drives great. The brakes work great. The, the clutch works great. Uh, if you have any tips for getting old window tint residue off, this is like super gnarly with the tint residue. So we got to figure that out. And then this um, little window scraper thing likes to come off. Just kind of driving up the wall. But other than that, she's pretty solid. I did um, install another set of resistors in here. So the initial resistors that were in here were painted because if you heard um, Will say basically the whole engine bay, the guy that had it just sprayed the whole engine bay black. So. Um, the car used to be silver or white or something like that. Um, and I think silver. And basically when they painted the car black, they painted the car black. So like the, you know, the hinges didn't get masked off to say matte black. Those are paint colored. All the trim, you know, is paint colored, um, which is this nice kind of real sparkly black. And then they rattle canned the entirety of the engine bay black, which is, uh, not my particular fun so it's good stuff uh, let's see yeah Adler's car we worked on it and uh, I took the race car to coffee, cars and coffee um, which is kind of a, a separate video in and of itself just a little short one but uh, yeah it's good stuff thanks for watching all right y'all so it's the end of the video Stark outside I didn't get back in time from food and stuff to uh, weld the pipe in on Will's car, so didn't get the pipe or the exhaust done, but everything else is done, so I'll do that right when I get home from work tomorrow. But, quick vet update. So, on uh, Saturday morning while I was at Cars and Coffee, which I didn't film any of it then because I was real mad, come home, I let the dog have rain in the living room while I was gone because... She's getting to the point now trying to test her like outside of her crate, so it's only gone for two hours or so. And uh, come back, and she hadn't destroyed anything. So I thought. Well, Adler was here, came outside. Hanging out outside for a while, brought him down here to show him the vet. And there was paw prints all over the flat surfaces of my car. So, I was pretty irked. But I didn't catch her doing it. She's right there. Didn't catch her on the car, so I couldn't really discipline her for it. And uh, luckily, I got a buddy in uh, Murfreesboro. Super awesome dude. I called him. He's kind of a, a detail buffer guy. Um, or kind of, he is. And I called him, and he was super awesome. Got me in. I drove over to his house, and he like gave me a nice, just we buffed all the top stuff. Um, the easy to get to stuff and we got it all fixed up so now it's like a million bucks but if you can imagine coming down and like the car wasn't clean clean but it had a little bit of dust on it from me driving it and you could just see paw prints all over the thing oh I was ready to I was so mad but anyways figured I'll let y'all know that that was there if you saw the end of the video or made it this far in the video and in lieu of said situation we now have developed a latch for the basement door. If the dog can fit through there, I got more problems than that. So, the basement door can now be latched. 
and uh, if I decide to leave her out, I can protect my car. So it is unlatchable from both sides. You can reach in here and get it. But anyways, thanks for watching this weekend's random stuff. Um, I know this is a pretty long video, so um, and pretty just all over the place with stuff that we did. So I want to say thank you. Subscribe. We just hit 800 subscribers, so heck yeah. Thanks to the 800 of you guys that watch this stuff. We're going to keep making videos. So thanks for watching. Keep it red.